Police are searching for the man who fired shots into the front of a bodega. We have chilling surveillance video showing the terrifying moments it happened, nearly killing a customer inside. Christy Kalishian spoke with the store's owner. What appeared to be business as usual at 056 Deli and Grocery on East 180th and Grand Concourse just before midnight Friday changed in an instant. Another angle here shows a gunman lingering outside just before aiming right for the glass door as this man opens it. The shooter then fled. Police say that 42-year-old was the only one struck. He was grazed in the head and then was taken to the hospital where police say he remains in critical condition. We spoke with the store's owner, Yomari Pichardo, over the phone, who tells us in Spanish that she's scared and nervous, fearing that this would happen again at her store. She described that she and everyone else inside got on the ground immediately, as shown here on surveillance. We're going to put a, a better door so that you can be more safe today. President of the Bodega and Small Business Group, Francisco Marte, was at the store Saturday, figuring out how to make it safer. He plans on getting a panic button and high resolution surveillance cameras installed at the store, which could be done as early as next week. We already did in 75 store and we're going to keep doing that, but we need more funding. Police say only one shell casing was found at the scene. Pichardo tells us her special needs son usually stands near the entrance and that he had just gone home right before the shooting. As much as she worries about her safety, she says she still plans to go back to work. We need a, a, a dedicated unit to do a search, to search the people that they are hanging around and see if they got a gun. If the public safety is good in the community, everything in the community is good. Police still have not made an arrest and are investigating whether or not the shooting was targeted. In the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx, Christy Kalishian, CBS News, New York.